I just don't even know what to say. Hey guys, welcome back to another by Candace Jones production. Today's video is going to be another in the day of a day in the life of an entrepreneur vlog you guys seem to really be liking them and i'm so surprised so if you do like them make sure you give this video a thumbs up and also make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i post every wednesday and sunday so make sure your post notifications are on so you never miss a post so it's like 9 a.m and i just woke up <laughs> and of course I'm drinking my cold pressed juice from my friend Brit Sips. She now has a website so you can order um, your juices online and get them shipped to you. I've been trying to incorporate more greens into my diet because I don't really eat a lot of vegetables. Like as many vegetables as I should like with every meal. So I make sure that I get some greens in in the morning especially. And this one is sweet spirulina. It's so good. Let me tell y'all what it has in it. It has pineapple, cucumber, kale, and organic spirulina. I'm not really too sure what what exactly is on today's to-do list but I know I'm about to drink this and get some stretching going if you guys haven't seen my self-care routine make sure you guys watch that because I go into depth about why I stretch every day and just give you guys some other tips on dealing with stress and anxiety but stretching is a huge thing and I've been trying to do it every morning and every night so I'm gonna get into that and then I'm gonna try and pull myself together because y'all don't even want to see what my hair looks like underneath this daggone bonnet it's really a hot mess and i want to be one of those entrepreneurs that like you know get all cute like pull themselves together and like just be walking the streets looking like a whole boss but that's not me i look like a 12 year old whenever i'm doing my errands and that's fine for right now but i'm trying to do better so i might put on some makeup or something but i don't know but first let's stretch while i stretch i'm gonna be listening to a podcast one is the unpack and bounce back podcast with sky townsend and reina biddy and then the other one is and that one's just about kind of finding inner peace and growing as a person as a woman and then the flourish effect podcast which my girl naturally sunny put me on to and this one is more about influencer life and being a creative and tips and stuff like that to help you grow as a creator and i've also downloaded the shameless life podcast i haven't really listened to much of it but it seems like it's going to be really good so i'm going to share that with you guys too she is a entrepreneur but she talks about um so many different things Alright y'all, so I am ready for today's errands. I put on a little bit of makeup and I got my hair in a slick pony. Today's to-do list consists of going to Sephora because I want to buy some new skincare products. Because I keep mentioning it in every video, but my skin is revolting. It is sick of me. It's tired. It's doing things it's never done before. And I've really just been trying to simplify my routine and just get a lot of moisture so i'm gonna go try and find a hyaluronic acid serum and then maybe like i want to try and find a cleanser with like some green tea something that's a little bit more soothing because my skin has been very itchy and red it's almost like rashy honestly like down here i don't know if you can see with the makeup on but you can see like little bumps it feels itchy sometimes so also of course curly girl orders i have to do curly girl orders almost every other day so i'm not going to show you guys that because i feel like i do that in every video but i just have to pack and ship some orders and then also i did a giveaway for the fenty skin products because i ended up getting two packages so so I'm going to be shipping this bad boy off today as well to the giveaway winner. It was a very quick flash giveaway on my story. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram by Candace Jones and watch my stories if you want to win, you know, some free things here and there. But let me show you guys what I'm wearing. Very basic, but I'm going to show you anyway. Biker shorts are honestly like my entrepreneurial uniform. I just feel like they're just so comfortable with my on the run t-shirt backpack is from just fab and then these sneakers which are the nike 270c and all black before i leave i decided to it is storming outside like 
I'm very afraid. I made me a little bit of breakfast, which isn't very appetizing. I just have some boiled eggs and some avocado. I'm trying to cut out starch as much as possible. If you're a guy, you might want to cut out right now. Do y'all hear the thunder? But I went to my gynecologist and <laughs> I've been struggling with like yeast imbalance or whatever. And she told me that my diet was probably the culprit. It's been reoccurring for literally at this point over six months. So she told me that I need to cut sugar and starch and that will probably help with the issue on top of, you know, an antifungal or whatever. I'm not sure if that was TMI, but I'm sure most of us deal with it. So this is what this is what we're having. This is this is the life that we're living currently and I'm very sad about it. Bro, it is storming outside, like storming. Within like the past 20 minutes, it just started storming. I can't deal. Running errands when it's raining is the absolute worst. Like I hate it. If I would've got up a little bit earlier, I could've knocked this stuff out. But getting up early currently is not a part of just who I am as a person. You know, in my spirit, it's just not there. And I came across this Instagram called The Nat Ministry and it's all about going against the grind and resting and relaxing and putting that before kind of grinding yourself to, you know, you have nothing left. So I'm gonna use that as my excuse. That's why I don't wake up early because I need my rest and I prioritize that over grinding and success. But honestly, I wish I would've got up a little bit earlier because this is crazy. But yeah, my first stop is FedEx. I have to pick up some supplies that I had shipped and um, what else? I had to go to Publix to pick up my prescription for my issues that I'm having. And before anybody even comments, like you a gynecologist and you want to give me some advice, I'm very conscious of what I use. I don't use anything with fragrance. Now, even if the fragrance is natural, any essential oils, cut it out. I don't use it. I haven't been using that type of stuff for years. So I know that that's not the issue. I wear cotton undies. I sometimes when shorts get a little too tight, that could be a problem. But I am at this point sure that it is my diet and that sucks like it sucks but I have recently been kind of on a binge I was doing like milkshakes almost every day from Chick-fil-a with french fries and just cookies and I don't usually eat like that but I'm an emotional eater so I was just feeling like that's what I wanted to do and when I do that I just go on a binge for weeks and that definitely didn't help so yeah anyways Publix and then I'll catch back up with you guys after I finish my orders and I'm on my way to the post office Got my packages secure. Now I'm headed to the post office. I printed all my labels when I was at the house, so I was able to just pack everything up and put them together at the shop. I didn't have to go back home and then weigh them and do all that. I'm kind of getting a good idea of how much the package is gonna weigh, so I was able to do it beforehand. So that is a good time saver today. So post office, and I'm so hungry. I didn't eat anything. And you know that breakfast breakfast wasn't really wasn't much so i'll probably stop and get a salad from somewhere and then head to sephora for some new skincare ended up going to panera got a salad and some soup get a little closer all right so i'm back from sephora so i'm gonna show y'all what i got i'm very excited skincare is one of my favorite things to buy even though a lot of the times i'm disappointed but you know that rush that you get is just unmatched so i got a bunch of stuff but nothing was really like super expensive so let's start off with this first a beauty ultra repair cream i've had this before but i actually 
I had two tubs one of the tubs um broke and like spilled out or whatever and then another one I gave for a giveaway so I'm repurchasing this because it's supposed to be good for hydrating hydrating your skin and just relieving irritation and stuff like that so I really like this next from first aid beauty I got this sump eraser body scrub it has a 10% AHA which I've never really seen like a product like this personally but I feel like it could be really good for my bikini area so I got that for that then I got these rollers from they're like little cheap rollers just to help massage the products into your skin this is the sephora brand so these products are mainly what i went there for this brand is called the inky list and they say that it's comparable to the ordinary so they have really cheap products very simple ingredients so this is rose hip oil and rose hip oil is supposed to be good for smoothing your skin texture etc etc and i believe this was about 9.99 yeah so i'm gonna give these a try this is my first time trying this brand period the ordinary is getting harder to find as people learn more about it but this brand also has a hyaluronic acid that people say is really good so it's supposed to hydrate and plump your skin and that's exactly what i am looking for because my skin is it's dry I don't look dry but it's like parched next i got this ceramide night treatment this is also supposed to hydrate and plump your skin and that's really what i'm focusing on is just hydrating it and getting my barrier back normal so i'm excited to try this one and then last but not least i got this salicylic acid cleanser they say that this one is comparable to the CeraVe SA cleanser and I actually really like that but I ran out and it's like sold out at every target so I want to try this it's supposed to help with blemishes and also smooth texture as well so excited for this I'm kind of scared because I haven't really been using any active ingredients but um I'm gonna give it a try as I start trying the products I'm going to be updating you guys obviously on what is working and what's not make sure you follow me on instagram because that's usually where things get posted first but i do have a skincare routine coming once i get my skin under control i feel like i have a good idea of what works and what doesn't at least for my skin so the routine that i had before it was a really good routine and it worked for my skin i was just doing it too frequently and i was using the products too frequently not giving enough time in between so now i'm learning to build a second routine that is more about maintenance more about like the basics moisture and all that kind of stuff so i'm getting that routine down pat and then once i merge the two together sis skin is going to be untouchable period i always like to have a business related like conversation or topic embedded into these videos and today the topic is going to be hiring and firing because I personally in my entrepreneurship journey just got to the point where I'm hiring people and right now I'm going through the process of firing somebody and it's stressing me out. So I'm not sure how many of you know but I'm working on a self-love workbook and this is one of the hardest projects that I've done. This is way past like doing merch or you know putting out videos and all that kind of stuff like this is serious business and because i want it to be something that's very professional i want it to be in targets i want it to be in stores i want it to be in barnes and nobles i want it to be published like i want it to be top tier i don't want to just slap something together and even if the content is there i still want everything to be cohesive i want the aesthetic to be there i want the vibe to be there on top of the actual content being there so with that being said i hired somebody and i hired somebody on upwork her work looked good her projects her previous projects like her portfolio looked good she had some good graphic design stuff and i hired her to one to create a logo and two to design the interior of the book so editorial design so i would type everything out tell her exactly what i want give her a rough draft and she can then turn that into something that looks visually appealing that um 
is just clean and nice so we're gonna hop into my computer because i'm gonna show you <laughs> what i gave her and then what she gave me and i'm gonna let y'all tell me if i'm tripping but sis gotta go anyway but tell me if i'm tripping hold on so i was working with a amazing illustrator and she sent me over this illustration i have three different stages that are going to be in the book and each one of them has a unique illustration so i sent all three of those over to the girl that i wanted to design the interior of the book just to draw inspiration i sent her the cover and i also sent her the description of the book along with a pinterest board <laughs> and this is what i received back now i'm not going to show y'all too much because i don't want to give away any of the workbook but just based off this first page let me know what y'all think does this not look like second grader-esque coloring book-esque i can't like it just doesn't have the refined feel that i felt like i gave her the direction to give me so now I've decided that I'm going to do the interior by myself. I'm going to design it by myself unless I can find somebody that can do it quickly because I really need to get this to print because I want it to be done. I wanted it to be done this month, but that's not going to happen. So I want it to be done next month and I'm getting a lot of copies. So I really need to get it over to the printer so they can start actually manufacturing and printing the book so i don't know she sent me that at this point two weeks ago and i have yet to respond because it just gives me so much anxiety to have to tell somebody that they're not going to be a good fit for my project and it's not even a matter of like oh giving her more direction giving her more direction she just doesn't understand the essence like the core of the actual project so when you're finding help find good help and find people that understand the message that you want to send because it's not just like a text it's not just a font it's not like oh that one's ugly that one's not it does that speak to what it is that i'm trying to portray when people get my workbook is that what i want them to feel when they see the first page and it's not i can tell by how far off she is that is just not gonna work and as a black woman who is creating something that i want to be edifying for black women i feel like maybe that's where i went wrong that i hired somebody who doesn't really understand that and doesn't get that so i've worked with women who weren't women of color in the past and it's worked out great but i think it depends on the project and it also depends on the person but i'm sad and this isn't even the first thing like the first thing was the logo she sent me over just weren't it like i can create a better logo as a creative when you're creative it's so hard getting other help because you know so much about so many different things that just basic things won't do it for you like i know how to use photoshop i know how to use illustrator i can create a logo if i wanted to but i'm coming to you because i want it to be top tier like i want it to be something so out of my wheelhouse creatively that is gonna make me feel like it was worth paying for and unfortunately she isn't you know giving me that I just don't even know what to say so that's what i'm gonna do tonight <laughs> tonight i'm going to make sure that i draft up a message to send to her because i need to allow her to move forward with the project she hasn't even hit me up i feel like she know that it's not it but yeah i'm sorry if this was a rant if this was a ramble but finding help is good and when you get to a certain point you need other eyes you need other people you can't be everywhere at once but also make sure that you are vetting people well and when it comes to firing if you are struggling like i am <laughs> know that you're not by yourself it does bring up a lot of anxiety for me but it's something that i'm gonna have to push through because for dinner we are having some brown stew chicken i've had this marinating for probably about an hour when i first got home it has browning in there some scallions some ketchup brown sugar and then some seasonings once the pan is nice and hot i'm gonna go ahead and add the chicken thighs to the oil well this could have been hotter but only have three because <laughs> it's just me and i don't like eating the same thing all the time 
I'm just gonna pour the rest of this marinade in here. Once the chicken is nice and brown, I'm gonna add some chicken broth. Just a little bit, cause I only have a little bit of chicken. <laughs> and some tomatoes. And I added just a teensy bit of flour to thicken up the sauce and you just let it simmer. And that's my brown stew chicken. I'm not Jamaican, but it tastes good to me. Dinner is served and as you see, I have a little bit of rice over here. I needed some rice with this meal. I just couldn't go without. And some broccoli and my brown stew chicken. It's 1.30 and I'm tired, but I just took a shower and did my skincare routine. As you can see, the glow is there very much there and i'm ready to go to bed i was working on the workbook and also editing this video for you guys to see tomorrow which is really going to be today if you're watching it when it goes up but whatever one last thing i want to say i know this video is pretty chatty but if you are a entrepreneur currently if you are an aspiring entrepreneur if you're a side hustler if you consider yourself a creative an influencer whatever the case may be keep going i'm realizing that it's the process and it's the learning that is really worthwhile, that really makes everything worthwhile, having that story to tell and seeing yourself grow and seeing yourself transform. So stay encouraged, y'all. Keep fighting the good fight. And if you're interested in my self-love workbook, make sure you go down in the description box because I have a link where you can drop your email to get any updates so you can get exclusive offers and all that kind of stuff. So make sure you sign up for that. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. I know that I don't make things clear. I fall for.